Hello lovely people and welcome to my channel. I'm Grace and I love making pretty things. I'm so excited to bring you my very first YouTube video. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this 20 minute shoulder bag that will guarantee compliments every single time that you go out. I think it's such an essential for your wardrobe. It's perfect for for an evening occasion, a night out, you know, date night, you know, spice it up a little bit. For this tutorial, I recommend that you know basic knowledge of crochet. The things you will need to know to make this bag are single crochet, slip knot, slip stitch, and chain. And if you don't know how to do any of those things, that's totally okay. There are so many amazing YouTube tutorials that will teach you exactly how to do it. That's where I learned how to crochet. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> to never miss out on any future video. If you guys are looking for more adorable, cute and easy bag patterns like this one that are literally so quick to make that you will literally blank and you have already have a bag, I will link that in, in the description box below. They're on my Etsy store and I would appreciate it if you would check it out. Dude, this chair is going to be the death of me. Let's get on to the tutorial. The materials you will need for this video are one skein of Eternal Bliss Yarn B, yarn from Hobby Lobby. I will link that in the description box below. Otherwise, you can use any chunky yarn of your choice. I will say for this tutorial, the chunkier the yarn is, the better. If you do end up using a smaller yarn size, your bag will be smaller, so just keep that in mind. You will also need a 20 millimeter crochet hook. Again, use whatever crochet hook size that you'd like. This is my favorite size crochet hook for this type of yarn. Using a larger size crochet hook will make your stitches looser and using a smaller crochet hook size will make your stitches tighter. You will need a scissors or any tool to cut your yarn with. And lastly, you will need two stitch markers or anything you can use to keep track of your stitches. Because we will be crocheting in the round and it's really hard to know where you're at without stitch markers. We will be starting off our project with a slip knot to create a slip knot, wrap your yarn around your two fingers like you're gonna pinch something and cross it over and grab the yarn on the other side and pull that through. Now we are going to chain eight. We will be making the base of the bag now. Now you will insert your hook into the second chain from the hook. As you can see right here, the second chain from the hook, you will insert your hook into that chain and you will make one single crochet. So you pull the yarn through the loop and then you yarn over and pull it through both of the loops. I'm placing a stitch marker into the single crochet stitch that I just created. From here, single crochet into the next five chains. So one, two, three, four, five. Or single crochet until you have one remaining chain. You've now single crocheted five or until you have one chain left. If you count from your stitch marker, there should be five single crochets. Into the last chain that you didn't single crochet into, you will make three single crochets into that one chain. Insert your hook into that last chain and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through both loops. And go into that same chain and pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops. So that's your second single crochet. Now do this one more time. So insert your hook into that same chain, pull up a loop, and single crochet. And that's three total single crochets into that last chain. Now place a stitch marker into the last stitch that you just made. 
Okay, now we will be single crocheting on the opposite side of the chain. So if you see here, we just single crocheted on one side of the chain, but now we will be going around on the other side, on the opposite side, into each of those loops. You will single crochet seven times, even into this turning chain right here. The turning chain will be the last single crochet that you make. You see the three stitches we just created into that last chain right there, and right next to it, that loop is the opposite side of the chain. You place your crochet hook into that chain and single crochet, and then single crochet into the next six. Or single crochet until you reach the stitch marker. As you can see here, the last single crochet that we will be making into the turning chain, this last loop here, make your seventh single crochet into this turning chain. And this is what your project should look like. The total number of stitches around is 16 total stitches. So just take a second and count if you'd like to. Into the next stitch where your stitch marker is placed, you will single crochet three into this stitch, into this first stitch. So one, two, and one more three. So three single crochets into that one stitch. And place your stitch marker into that stitch you just created. If you count your stitches, you should have 18 total stitches around. Good job everybody, we completed the base of the bag. This next row, we will single crochet 18 stitches around the bag. This is where your stitch marker is really helpful. Because we are crocheting in the round, there's no ending point, so it's very necessary to use a stitch marker. Complete your last single crochet into the stitch with the stitch marker. So this is our 18th single crochet. Now just place your stitch marker into the 18th single crochet that you just created. We've just completed row one of our bag. Now we are going to repeat the last step that we just did. So we're gonna single crochet 18 around the bag once more. We've just completed our second row of 18 single crochets around. And this is what our bag looks like. Again, place your stitch marker into the last stitch that you just created. Once again, you will go around and make 18 single crochets for your next row. Now we've completed our third row of 18 single crochets around and just place your stitch marker into the last single crochet that you just created. And this is what your bag should look like. It's starting to come together. For this last row of your bag, you will make 17 single crochets, not 18 this time, 17 single crochets around and into that last stitch with the stitch marker, you will make one slip stitch.
so we've just completed our 17th single crochet. To complete your bag, slip stitch into the next stitch. Insert your hook into the next stitch with the stitch marker and pull that loop through the loop on your hook. Now the main piece of your bag is completed and this is what your bag should look similar to. What I like to do and what I always do is flip my bags inside out after I complete them because I feel like the inside looks better on the outside and it looks more clean. From this slip stitch, we are going to chain our strap and connect it to the other side of the bag. Chain 20 for your strap or customize it to the size that you like your strap to be. It's 100% up to you. Now we're going to connect our chain to the other side of the bag. From your chain, count 9 stitches. And you can just place a stitch marker here to make it easier for you to see. Sorry about the hair, I have two golden retrievers that shed. <laughs> make sure that your strap is straight and not twisted before you connect your strap to the bag. Because you don't want to connect everything and then have to redo your bag because the strap is twisted. Now you are going to slip stitch your bag and your strap together. So insert your hook into that ninth stitch and pull your yarn through those two loops. This is now when you can cut your yarn to fasten off your bag and pull that yarn through to create a strand. I've had to remake this bag a few times, so that's why the yarn is measured perfectly. And now just gently pull your strand of yarn to secure your bag, and be careful with this yarn because it snaps really easily, so just be gentle. Now your bag is complete, but if you'd like to make it look extra clean in the inside, let's flip it inside out. We're going to tie the ends inside of the bag. This step is totally optional and you don't need to do this, but I like to do it because it looks more professional. To do this, we will be pulling that excess strand of yarn that we have left over through the loops inside the bag. As you can see here, I'm pulling it through the loops of the single crochets that we created. What we're doing is we're hiding the strand in between the stitches. I like to bring the tail through a loop on every row going down. Then I go back into the loops that I put the strand through going down and I go up. Keep repeating the process going different directions until you run out of yarn. The last thing that you're going to do is flip your bag inside out so that the good side is on the outside. I like to mess around with the bag and mold it to the shape that I like just by adjusting a little bit. love your new bag as much as I do because I literally wear it everywhere. I'm so excited to teach you how to make so many more bags. I have so many ideas and I can't wait to bring those to life. Send me photos. I would love to see them. Let me know what you guys think about this tutorial in the comments below. I'm so excited to make more videos just like this one so stay tuned for more. I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video and I love you. You're a good boy.